hey guys for this week's book club we are going to look at the best book ever written i know that's quite a bold statement i know loads of you are going to come up with ever other best books ever written but i think this is the best book ever written it's been right since the short history of nearly everything and the reason i think it's the best book ever written is because every time i finish it i want to start it again like straight away i've really read this book like five six times i generally read it about once a year and you know it's quite a big book and i don't have a lot of spare time so it does take up quite a significant amount of time to read don't let that put you off because the book is amazing every time i finish it i feel like i've forgotten so much of the stuff that i've read that i have to go back and read it again and what i want to do is like what i tell you not to do all the time is to get a highlighter pen and just highlight all the <laughs> interesting bits but the problem is that it's all really, really interesting. So what I would end up doing is basically highlighting the whole book and I'm constantly telling you not to highlight the whole book. So I really, really try to restrain myself. So Bill Bryson is an excellent writer. He's really big in um, science communication. He mainly writes travel books, which I've never been able to get into. I don't really find that very interesting, but this book is um, a science book. And it's a really gossipy book. Um, it tells you who was really nasty, who was really nice, like all of these names you come across in history, all these names you come across in science. It tells you like he was having affairs with who, he was a massive player, he was a massive idiot, who stole ideas from other people, who cheated other people. Um, it's really, really gossipy and it's kind of like, you know, when you see all these names in like science like Bunsen and um, Heisenberg, you never really like they're just names, you never really see them as like a person, but this book tells you kind of like all the behind the scenes gossip of what went on, as well as explaining the science. It is so wide ranging in topics. When it says it's a short history of nearly everything, he has really, really tried to cram basically every single thing in there. We go from like the origins of the universe, the origins of life, to the dinosaurs, um, trilobites, everything we can cram in there like from the teeny tiny cells to like the massive universe it is all in here and it's one of the reasons i find it so so fascinating i love this book because you like chances are you're going to be able to relate to it at some point at some level so i am really really distantly related to edwin hubble of the telescopes and he's in this book my husband is really really distantly related to I think it's Henry Bessemer who did something with engines or bridges, I can't remember, and he's in this book. I first read this book when I was working in America in a place, tiny little place called Woods Hole, and Woods Hole is in this book. And I was watching um, like the film Titanic at the time, and the film Titanic's in this book, okay? So you will find somewhere, unless you live kind of like in a cave and never talk to anybody and don't ever have any relatives, you will find some way to relate this book to you. I use this book a lot in lessons. Um, because it's so wide ranging, because it covers so much stuff, it fits in really, really, really well with nearly every single lesson. Um, so my A level class, when we start talking about electrons, I do story time. So I make them put their heads down on the desk, turn off the lights, make them shut the eyes, and I read them sections of the book because it's so interesting and what it does is it takes the stuff that we teach in your class the stuff that maybe is a little bit dry stuff that maybe we have to go through a little bit quickly because we don't have a lot of time um it fits into context fits into real life and it makes it really 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 interesting um one of the examples is he takes like um the whole of the history of like everything and puts it into like a time scale and humans are such the teeny tiniest little slither of time there is so much that's gone on before us and so much that we don't know is going to happen potentially after us that um it really really makes you think about like our place in the world um and how we fit into everything um history science the universe so this is a fantastic fantastic book it's going to put your studies into context um, it's going to give you lots of ideas, hopefully it's going to give you something that you're interested in. Now, if you want to have a good UCAS statement, if you want to get into a good college, university, you need to have something that you're interested in, that you're passionate about. Reading this book is going to give you a really, really good, broad overview of everything, and hopefully one of those things in there you'll be able to pick out and go, 
that is really interesting. I really want to learn more about that. So you can use it as kind of like the, the starting point, the jump off point for learning about other things. So I, like I said, this is the best book ever written. I read it like once a year and it's only like four quid on Amazon. Like the value for money of this book I've gotten is astounding. So please go and read this book, it's amazing.